Can you say hi, guys? Hello, drama lovers. Hello, YouTube fam. She is so sleepy. So, I figured we would sit down and let's talk drama. I'm sure you saw by the title, Let's Talk the Tea on Jacqueline Hill. I made a video like this uh, when we found out that Tati, Shane Dawson, and Jeffrey were launching their palettes, which I used the whole Shane Dawson palette on my face today and my eyes. I think that review should be going up in a couple days. So if you wanna know the details on my thoughts on that palette, make sure you're subscribed and make sure your bell's turned on. That way you'll get notified when that video goes up. Huh, Penny Poo Poo? Hey, you doing okay there? Okay, so Jaclyn Hill is coming out with some new products. So if you did not have internet or anything a couple months ago, she, launched her whole cosmetics line with lipsticks. I did buy a lipstick. I actually still have it. I should go get it. Here it is. So I got the shade Amaze Balls and basically the drama with this was that there was hairs in them. I guess people found foreign particles in there. They were tested guys and I'm pretty sure that none of the results came back moldy. I don't know. A lot of people, yes, like mine, it definitely did have the, um, I don't know if you guys, you guys probably aren't gonna be able to see but it has the little lines that people were complaining about. Mine doesn't have hair or anything like that. Here's an unpopular opinion for you guys, but yes, I think the people who did get the hairs, that's bad, that's terrible quality control. There wasn't very good quality control, especially for the price she was charging. However, I guarantee you, if you looked under a microscope, fully dug into any other brand lipsticks, like everybody did with Jaclyn Hill's lipsticks, you're gonna find similar things. I think they just haven't been caught or outed because for some reason, people judge influencers makeup lines much harsher. I get why, cause you know, they're beauty influencers. You assume that when they come out with their own makeup, it's gonna be the best of the best. But I guarantee you, if you took 10 different lipstick brands from 10 different companies like, I don't know, NYX, Maybelline, Milani, MAC, Too Faced. I bet you some of those lipsticks would have similar issues. You know, I don't know. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. And I know it might be a very unpopular opinion, but I think Jaclyn Hill had some issues. There were issues with her lipsticks, but I think the way that she was just annihilated was like, come on guys. It's upsetting, huh? It's sad. That's one thing I think with the internet is we forget that these influencers, oh, come here, baby. There, is that better? But we forget that they're human beings. And I think the culture right now is very, I mean, yes, it is their job, but people make mistakes. I guarantee you, whatever job you work, whether you're me, like I used to be a server, whether you're a server, whether you are a doctor, whether you're a nurse, whether you're a dentist, I'm sure you've made some mistakes. Whether you're a janitor, I'm sure that there's been times where the floors were not squeaky clean. And that's the thing too, is that majority of normal jobs, you're not as details scrutinized by millions of people. You know what I mean? So if you have millions of people inspecting your job, I guarantee you they're gonna find issues with something that you do. You know what I mean? So anyways, my personal opinions on Jaclyn Hill, I mean, I think she's a human being. I feel bad for her. I can't imagine working so hard on something and then it just blow up how it blew up. I do think that she needed to learn a big lesson in being transparent and open and honest and humble, which if you guys watched her video launch of her new products, which is what we're gonna talk about. Hi, lovey, lovey. You hear her say it. She says that she was very humbled, that she was very awakened. I might have to feed her and finish this chat. Watch out, Roro. Okay, sorry guys, she's hungry, but Anyways, long story short, did Jacqueline Hill mess up? Yes. Could she have done a better job? Yeah. Do I think she meant and that was her intention was to snake us? Definitely not. Anyways, let's talk her new products. So when I watched her video, I will link it down below if you guys did not see it yet. It made me want to buy 
all of it. Setting aside anything personal as a viewer, she just, she hooked me. Before I watched the video, I sat there and I thought to myself, okay, you know it's a highlighter, it's Jaclyn Hill, would you wanna buy it? And even before the video, I kind of was like, okay, Jaclyn Hill's thing is highlighter. And that's one thing I think too, I don't know why she released the lipsticks first because I don't think she's necessarily known for lipsticks. She's always been known for highlighters. I do know that she did come out with Champagne Pop with Becca, so maybe she didn't release the highlighters right away because people would be like, another highlighter, so who knows. Again, guys, there's probably so much that we don't know on the business end of why people do things when they do them, why, how they do them, which I do think that's one thing. I love what Jeffree Star and Tati have been doing, being totally transparent, and that's one thing, is Jaclyn Hill has not been like that. But maybe she will now, we'll see. Oh gosh, I'm looking oily. But anyways, watching her video, guys, I just, I really, really, really want Oh no, I wrote down the names of everything. And my paper's over there, fudge. Well, I really want the loose powder one it, that can be used as a setting powder. I don't remember what it's called. I wanna say it's in the $30 range, which let's talk about prices. It's pretty pricey. So I am expecting perfection and I'm sure everybody is right now, which can you imagine how stressful that is for Jacqueline? A lot of people are like, Oh, why are you so nervous making this video? If you really think the product's bomb, you should be confident. I'm sure she thought her lipsticks were bomb and she had no idea that those were gonna have issues. I guarantee you that whatever lab she was using, the samples they gave her were probably perfect. They're not gonna give her the mass produced samples. They're gonna give her the best of the best and she's gonna say, oh, this is awesome. So I think that's kind of what happened with the lipsticks. I think this time around, she's definitely gonna be checking in more with whatever lab she used this time. Supposedly she used a new lab, I don't know. But then she said that she was working on these highlighters before the lipsticks. So I'm like, so did you use the same lab? I don't know, but either way, I'm still gonna buy some of her highlighters. Oh, which I forgot to talk about that with the lipsticks. A lot of people are really pissed saying they didn't get their refunds. I got my refund. I didn't even have to ask for it. I just saw in my PayPal account, oh, you got money from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. So I don't know, from my personal experience, and I personally have not talked to anybody who hasn't gotten a refund yet. Anyone I personally know or have talked to has said the same thing. They just were like, oh, I just had money in my account. They just automatically refunded me. So I know a lot of people are pissed about that. If that was me and I hadn't gotten my refund, I'd be pissed too. But all I can say is I did get my refund and that's what I can speak on is my experience. So I do think she did the best she could to try to fix that situation. Now, anyways, back to the highlighters. I totally wanna buy for sure the loose powder that you can use kind of as a setting powder. Oh my gosh, I love that idea. I feel like glowy skin just makes you look so much more youthful. <laughs> She's like eating and like half asleep. I love those little noises. I don't know, but at the same time, I'm like, ugh. I bought the Tati palette. I did a Ron Ratchet review on that. I'll link that up above and down below. But I also bought the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson Conspiracy palette. And it's like, oh, I'm dropping all this money. And I do, like if I'm gonna drop money on new makeup, I wanna buy influencers makeup because I do. I wanna support people who are doing the same craft as me. They are on a way bigger scale. Like I'm a nobody, but we do the same thing kind of. So I wanna support them. And that's kind of how I feel about Jacqueline's line. I just, and, even not having to do with Jaclyn. If some random person I didn't know was showing me those products, I still would want that loose powder highlight. I kind of, oh, I can't decide if I want the first shade or the second shade she showed. She's also coming out with a highlighter palette that also looked beautiful, that I guess they are baked highlighters or something made in Milan, Italy, which I think is awesome. Like that, oh, that one's pricey too. And I, I probably won't buy that, but I wanna try it like just to see. I just am so intrigued. I just wanna try every single product just for the review purposes. Anyways, I probably won't be buying that. And then she's coming out with some beaming, I think they're called beaming highlighters where they look super highlighty and those, oh my gosh, I really want one of those too. I can't, I can't decide if I want the beaming one. No, I think I want the first one I mentioned. I think it's called like moonlit or something or mood, mood lit. I don't know. The loose highlighter, I really want the beaming ones. 
the super shiny ones it's so intriguing to me but i i'm definitely will only buy one product probably because i don't have that kind of money to just drop on all of them the brushes i think are crazy pricey for what they are like i'm like oh come on girl like i know you want quality but you're a morphe girl you like affordable why are you coming out with 20 dollars brushes you know what i mean i don't know i just i feel like the prices for her brushes are kind of high and i don't know just because of everything that happened with the lipstick stuff and she has had drama in the past with other launches too i just i'm like oh is it really gonna be a bougie enough brush to justify charging charging $20 for it. I don't know. I'm not gonna buy them, so we'll see how the reviews are. But anyways, I just wanted to come on here again, come in natural lighting, chat with you guys on my thoughts about this whole Jaclyn Hill thing. And like I said in the last one, if you like this video and want me to keep doing this, like when big beauty drama comes out, if you want me to sit down and chat with you guys like this in the future, like this video and also comment down below. Let me know, um, comment the lipstick emoji or write the word lipstick in the comments below if you do want me to continue doing videos like this. If you don't, please let me know as well. It's totally okay, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. Comment a heart emoji. Or like I said, if you're on PC, just type the word heart. If you're kind of like, mm, I'm not feeling these type of videos, that's okay too. I wanna know what you guys think, so. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to listen to me blab. I know it takes some time and effort to follow me sometimes, especially when I have Penelope with me, well, which is 24 seven, but especially if she's awake, I know it's kind of in and out all over the place. So I appreciate you guys. I love you. I hope you're having a good day and I'll catch you in the